Hey guys, uh, today we'll start with a new topic on the string methods that has find and replace. There are around eight methods that we'll look at in our subsequent videos as well. To start up with, we'll start with the count method. Now this method is used to count the number of uh, uh, non-overlapping occurrences of the substring uh, that is specified in the parameter. Yeah. Uh, let me put the syntax first so that you will understand what I'm trying to talk about. So uh, let me make it bold syntax. So the syntax for count is str.com where str is the string that you want to check for. Sub is the is the count which you want to start counting or the or the string or the alphabet or the item that you want to count in the string and you can have the length of the string so it can be have maximum of how many characters it could be it could be the end of the string yeah it could be end so it has a start it has an end yeah and it has a sub section so when I'm talking about Python string count, it is used to count the number of overlapping occurrences of a substring. Yeah. Now the count of the substring is, this is the substring. Yeah. Sub str. Let me put it this way. Substring. Yeah. So it gives the count of the substring. Okay. Now you can specify the start and end of the parameter. So you can ask the uh, function to check or the method to check for a particular you can ask this uh, method to start from a particular uh, point and end at a particular point we can do that yeah so when i am talking about uh, the parameters in this particular function it is the sub is the parameter specifies the substring. Yeah. So the sub parameter specifies the substring. Start. This parameter is an integer value which specifies the starting index. Yeah. So it is specifying from where I have to start counting or where from where I have to start reading this particular character in the string. Yeah, and, and where I have, where uh, this is again an integer, this specifies where I have to end the particular string. Yeah. Now the Python string count method returns the number of occurrences so of, of this substring. So let's understand by an example. So if I take it a little up. Okay. So suppose I have this uh, string str equals to uh, let me write it as string equals to uh, welcome to welcome to eyes can analyze yeah and I will specify the sub string equals to e yeah Okay, and let me count. So I'll say I'll say the number of occurrence of the substring E that we have is equal to we'll take the formula that we previously had as string dot dot count and then we specify the substring which is sub str which you have to find in the string and you want to say that you need to start it from third and end it by length of the string i'll say length and the string yes Okay. 
This is string. Yes. Yeah. So let's run this. Let's try to find out what is the output that we get from this. Have we added an additional? Okay, no, that's it. So we'll run this. So usually if you see this welcome to I scan analyze, I have to start from third. Yeah. So it will start from the C alphabet because your starting is zero, one, two, three. Yeah. And it will go to the length, length of the string. So how many E's are available in this particular string is one. After E, that's one, two, and the last one is three. Yeah. If I would have not specified this, if I would have specified as zero, it would have given me the answer as four. Yeah. Because it will count this E as well. Since I started from third item, it is, it is telling that there are only three E's. Yeah. So the Python string count method with substring starts and n values as its parameter returns the count of number of occurrences. So in this particular example, uh, the substring to be counted is specified as E. Yeah. After that, the count function is invoked on the string with the start value given as three and the end value as the length of that particular string. Yeah. Now let's understand if the end value is not specified in the function parameter. Yeah. So let's understand how, what will happen if I do not specify, if we do not specify the end value. Yeah. So, I'll use the same example. So we had this n value as length of string. I will not specify this. Let's see what is the output. It still gives me three. So by default, so if the end value is not specified in the function parameter, the last index of the string is considered as the default end value. Yeah, so you need to remember this. If the end value is not specified in the function parameter, the last index of the string is considered as the default value. Hence, the output is automatically three, which we have found earlier as well. Yeah, what will happen if the start and end value both are not specified? So let me use the same output uh, same formula, this time I will not use the start value as well. Yeah, Let's see what is the output. You can see it has automatically taken the default value at the zeroth index of the string and considered the end value as the default end of the string. Yeah. So when you do not specify both the parameters When you do not specify both the parameters, it will automatically consider zeroth index as your uh, start index. Yeah. And the last index as the string as this default end value. So it came out with the output as five. Yes. So if the start and the end values are not specified, are not specified in the parameter, the zeroth index of the string is considered as the default start value and the last index of the string is considered as the default end value. Now, if the substring is empty, so if I do not have anything, it returns the number of empty strings between the characters. So let's see what it does. So if I, I'll use the same thing if I do not specify anything as a substring. So you see there is a blank substring. Yeah. Let's see what happens. See this? So it 
If the substring is empty, it returns the number of empty strings between characters, which is the length of the string plus one. Yeah. So the length of this particular string is uh, around 25, which is, we'll check that as well. Uh, length of the string. Just give me one minute. of the string we use this as length sorry okay we'll see the length of the string as well and we we'll see Substring. Oh, sorry. Length of the string. I need the string here. So you see the length of the string is 25 and it automatically adds one to the end of the string. Yes. So if the start and ends are not available and it is empty string, it will automatically give you the number of uh, characters that are available in the string. Yeah. Now you need to be very careful uh, while <clears throat> using this particular formula because substring is a mandatory option or the mandatory parameter. If you do not specify substring, so I, if I do not have substring, yeah, and I just mention the start and the end value, 3, 30, yeah, or 25, that was the last thing, yeah. If I specify the, this, then it will come up with an error because it doesn't know where it has to search or what a particular thing has to be searched, yeah. So, if the stub, the substring is mandatory that you need to understand as a parameter in count. So if this parameter is not specified, a type error is occurred. Yeah. So in this example, when we tried invoking this particular uh, method, it did not return any value rather we got an error while we try to execute this method. I hope you like this particular uh, count. Do like this video uh, and do comment uh, with your views on this particular, uh, with your uh, views on it. And do subscribe to my channel to get such more interesting uh, videos uh, in future. Yeah, thank you so much.